Hi guys. One of the most popular topics that I get questions about is how you use colour pencil with solvents. So I thought it would be helpful to do a do's and don'ts on how to use them. Solvents are a great way of making your colour pencil drawings look like a painting, but there are some things you should know. So let's get straight into the things you shouldn't do. First up, don't scrimp on the pencil. Solvent isn't a magic fix that's gonna be able to blend something that isn't there. Solvents work by breaking down the pigment and you have to give it something to break down. If you put next to no pigment on the paper, it's simply not gonna work. So I'm going to show you this don't by putting two little pigment over here. I am gonna put the proper amount of pigment here or I won't be able to show you the other don'ts. I hear a lot of people saying that when they use solvents the colours aren't very vibrant and this is the number one cause of that. I do think however that you can go too far the other way, spend loads of time putting in loads of pigment and loads of details only to need to blend it out in a minute. So my second point is don't put the details in before you blend. What's the point in spending ages putting details on when you are just going to blend it? It's not so much that it's going to ruin anything, it's more just a waste of your own time. That said, depending on the colors you use to put your details in, if you were using black, for example, it might make your colors more muddy. Best case scenario, you spend ages putting in loads of detail just to blend it and it all gets lost. Worst case, when you blend it, it blends all together and ends up looking very muddy and ruins your drawing. Just don't do it. So over here on my don't drawing, I'm going to put details on the skin and you'll see in a second when I blend that it all just gets lost. Super important point now, don't forget to do a test swatch. I know how tempting it is. You've got your full drawing ready to blend. You've seen other people blend and that went fine. So you're there with your bottle of solvent and you just want to do it. But please don't yet. You should find out what it looks like when you do it. Let me give you an example. On my don't drawing, I'm using Polychromos pencils on Strathmore colour pencil paper and I'm using that with Zest It. I know that Zest It isn't the easiest material to get hold of in some areas, so you might swap that out for baby oil. How do you know that that baby oil is going to behave in the same way as the Zest It? It may be that it works really well with some papers, but on this paper it leaves awful greasy streaks. And if you don't do that, you might end up with a surprise, and I don't like surprises with my art. Next up, let's actually blend something, but you don't want to use too much solvent. Over here I'm going to apply loads of solvent straight from the paintbrush onto the paper. I'm not going to take any of the excess off of the paintbrush. There's a few things that could or will happen here. First off, there is a good risk that it will warp the paper. Once again, it depends on which solvent you're using, but some of them will make the paper go all crinkly if you use too much. As you get around the edges, you'll notice that the solvent is leaving kind of a greasy border around the outside. And it also causes the pigment to bleed into this area. So it completely takes away any crisp edges that you had and that you want. Applying less solvent is less of an issue because it just won't do anything. You also don't want to blend this from dark to light. Doing this would push that dark pigment into the light area and you would lose a lot of your contrast. You'll also notice that it makes the colours look muddy like they do here. Very much linked to the too much solvent, you also don't want to overdo it even if you're using the right amount of solvent. If you blend the whole picture as one object rather than blending it section by section, you'll end up with something that just looks like a big blob. And my last don't, before we move on to what you should do, don't forget the details. Once you've finished blending, you'll be left with something that looks like an out of focus image. Don't forget that you might not actually be finished at this point, there might be more work to do. But let's look at that a bit more in the do's. So first up, the most important thing before you do anything is to make the test swatch. As I said, you don't know that your combination of materials is gonna result in what you expect. But there is a very easy way that you can find out. All you need to do is take the paper that you're going to be drawing your picture on, make a little swatch, maybe a gradient from one color to another, use the solvent and see what happens. And you'll see, for example, between these two types of paper here and here, what a massive difference there is on how the solvent behaves. Even though it's the same solvent and the same pencils, it's only the paper that's different. You also might find it helpful to experiment with how you want to put the solvent on. So, for example, does it work better with a paintbrush or with a 
cotton bud? Or does it work better with a big paintbrush or a small paintbrush? The only way you're going to find out is to experiment. I also always like to see once my test swatch has dried how a white pencil behaves on top of that as well. This is just all going to come in very, very handy when you start your drawing. My next do is do build up the layers. As I said earlier, in order to use solvents, you have to give them something to blend. So I'm slowly building up my colors in layers. We're going to slowly build up our colors until they look vibrant. Bear in mind though that they will look more vibrant once they're blended, but we already know that because we did a test swatch. So now we've got a decent base down and I didn't waste any time putting in the details. We can start adding the correct amount of solvent. I am just taking my paintbrush, wiping it gently on the side of the bottle. And then if it still looks like there's too much zest on there, I'll dab it on a paper towel. In time, you'll get used to how much you should have on your paintbrush. But in the meantime, remember, it's better to underuse it than to overuse it. If it's not enough, you can always add more but you can't take it away if you do too much. Notice that I'm applying the solvent with circular motions with my paintbrush. And I've started with a small paintbrush to do the fiddlier, smaller parts. And then as I get towards the skin at the back, I'm using a much bigger paintbrush. If you're wanting to cover a bigger area, it is easier to use a bigger paintbrush rather than using more solvent. Do blend from the lightest color to the darkest color. And when you're finished with that darkest color, give your paintbrush a bit of a clean and a bit of a wipe. This will just stop you from accidentally darkening the light areas. Notice how I'm blending this section by section rather than doing the whole thing at once. This is actually really easy with the lime because they're already sorted into sections. But if I wasn't doing something that was already sorted, I would split it into sections myself. Now onto my last do, which is do add the details over the top. You can see that now I've applied the solvent throughout, it looks a little bit wishy-washy. So to inject some realism into the drawing, I'm going to use a lot of the colors that I've already used to go over the top with the details. But I don't need to add too much because I've already got such a great base. I've spent far more time building up the base than I will adding in the details. And you don't only have to use pencils for this. For example, I'm going to add in some extra highlights with this jelly roll pen. And I already know it's going to look good on top of this because I tested it on my swatch. And that is it. That is my do's and don'ts of how to blend color pencils with solvents. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and don't forget to click the subscribe and the notify bell so you never miss an art tutorial. Happy drawing guys, I'll see you in the next one.